so the new update for chrome os flex is here and uh, it is the version 104 and you can see it is the latest update and on this stable channel so the biggest change that i noticed for my device in particular is that the bluetooth is now working and as you can see i've connected my earbuds and also my phone and both of them are working and you can also use the nearby share so this is a really good news for me so finally i can use my bluetooth devices and other than that if we try to find out if anything else has changed so yes we have the new uh, like wallpaper picker and uh, the dark theme is working it was not working for all the devices but now it's built in the update and i've also noticed this new wallpaper pack called the radiance and it has both the light and dark theme version so like uh, right now it is in the light mode and if i change it from the toggle you can see the transition is really smooth and it looks quite pleasant as well so let me try another one and let's also check out the dark mode version so similarly you can try other wallpapers as well and apart from wallpapers we have the screen saver as well and uh, you can choose between uh, like two modes and also you can display your own google photos and this is how it looks it just uh, uh, just a uh, still pick but it actually moves and has a really good animation which looks quite good and if you leave it your device unattended for some time then the screen saver appears let's uh, browse around and see if anything new has been added so we see a lot of accessibility options these options are really helpful in making the browsing experience very easy and a lot of people use it every day other than that uh, we have the developer options and if you do not see this make sure you have enabled the virtualization from your systems bios and uh, then you will see the terminal of right here and we can run the commands and we see the new app launcher uh, before it was not consistent and used to switch between the old and the new style this is not something new but the chrome canvas is a really great uh, like uh, inbuilt software for someone who uses drawing tablet or uh, you want to like, make illustrations on the chrome os flex you can do this using this and you can import a picture and you have a couple of options we do not see a variety of brushes it's quite limited it works quite well with the drawing tablet and we do not need to uh, like uh, install any drivers although the buttons on the stylus won't work if you have a wacom tablet and uh, the main feature is this uh, layer option we can have multiple layers which makes it quite advanced and then we can simply save the picture so that was quite good and uh, we do have the gallery uh, which has been around since the beginning and uh, it works quite well for all the different uh, media files including pdf files and in the camera app i don't know if it was in the previous update or not uh, but i've noticed a new option and right now i've placed the document in front of it and do have the video and photo option but we also see a scan option and uh, once you click the picture it automatically detects the edges of the document and you can also like do it manually as well but uh, it helps you scan pictures and uh, documents and now it is built in the camera which is quite good we also see the qr code scanner and they are working without any issues so i really find this uh, nice addition the chrome browser is still the old android style and does not support the multiple accounts uh, like the linux or windows one we also see the new calendar widget on the bottom right side and uh, clicking on any date will take you to the google calendar so that was it for this video and i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one